Sarah asks Asif to think of a number to add to 5, which would result in 11. She asks him to solve this mentally. Asif solves the question and gets the answer 6. Do you know how an unknown number is represented in mathematics? How do we represent the number we are asked to think of? Well, it is very simple. The unknown number can be represented mathematically by the symbol delta. To understand how delta is used, let's see how Asif solved this question. Delta plus 5 is equal to 11. The delta symbol tells us that it represents an unknown number we need to find. This statement is called an open sentence, as delta can be any number. In this open sentence, to get 11, what number needs to be added to 5? If we replace delta by 6, the statement becomes Adding 6 and 5 results in 11. And the statement becomes When the left-hand side of an equation is equal to the right-hand side, we say that this statement is true. A true number statement with the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side is called an equation. However, if we replace 6 with any other number, the left-hand side of the equation would not be equal to the right-hand side. Therefore, this statement is false. In general, an open sentence can either be true or false. The delta in an open statement can be replaced by any alphabet to denote the unknown number. So, delta plus 5 is equal to 11 can be written as a plus 5 is equal to 11 or x plus 5 is equal to 11, etc. Let's do an exercise. Think of a number such that when we add 8 to it, the answer we get is 11. To write the open statement for this, we first write delta, since that is a number we need to find, and then add 8 to it. The sentence tells us that the result is 11. Therefore, it is equal to 11. The expression will be, delta can be replaced with any letter. So, let's put p in this case. The open statement then becomes, now, let's see what values could make the statement true or false. p plus 8 is equal to 11. For this statement to be true, the left-hand side of the equation needs to be equal to the right-hand side. So what number should replace p to get 11? Let's replace p with 1. 1 plus 8 is equal to 11. The left-hand side adds up to 9, while the right-hand side is 11. So, this statement is false. Let's replace p with 2. 2 plus 8 is equal to 11. The left-hand side adds up to 10, while the right-hand side is 11. Again, this is a false statement. When we replace p by 3, the equation becomes 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. Adding 3 and 8 gives us 11 on the left-hand side, which is equal to 11 on the right-hand side. Therefore, this is true. So the value of p will be 3 to form a true statement, while all other values form false statements. To summarize, we learned that the symbol delta is used to denote unknown numbers. When the left side of the equation is equal to the right side of the equation, it forms a true statement. When the left side of the equation is not equal to the right side of the equation, it forms a false statement. A statement that can be either true or false is called an open sentence. We also learned that delta can be replaced by any alphabet to denote the unknown number.